The phasing operation might be the most used toolpath in CNC milling, creating a planner phase and many times an important datum. With Fusion 360's CAM function, this is simple to do. Let's take a quick look. I will select the phase operation from the ribbon bar and we are presented with the facing properties to the right. There are five tabs and this is a good time to point out that in Fusion 360 these five tabs are always in the same order and has the same functions no matter what type of toolpath you use. This is done so it will be much easier to learn and remember using Fusion 360. The first tab is always where you select your tool and input your feeds and speeds. Let me click on the tool button to access the tool selection area. There will be another video on the tool library, but let me just give you a quick tour. To the left we have our filter. Here we can change such things as operation type, tool type and so on to narrow down the tools in our selection area. To the right you have the detailed tool info. I want to point out that you can control all details of your tools using the tool library button right on the cam ribbon bar. Let me click once to select the 50mm face mill and click OK. The second tab is geometry. This is where we can select what we want to machine. You might select an edge on your model create some sketch geometry, but since this is a facing operation, I want to face off the entire top surface. So I do not need to select any geometry. One of the advantages of working within a solid environment. The third tab is where you can adjust all your heights. The fourth tab is the passes tab. This has everything to do with the cutter engaged in the material. Here you could change the angle and direction of your cut, how far you want the cutter to extend past the stock, step over and much more. The fifth and last tab is all about the cutter not engaged in the material, such as rabbit moves and lead in and lead out. As you can see, I did not change anything since we selected our tool because 9 times out of 10 a facing operation just need to be selected on the ribbon bar and then the desired tool. Let me click OK and if I click simulate and play you will see that we have completed the facing operation with just a few clicks.